Hello, my name is Kain Son Munonye, the application developer, the telecoms engineer, the, the computer engineer, whatever you like to call me. Um, in this video, I'm going to take you through a Python program that solves a set of linear equations. And then as I go through the lines of codes, I'll also explain uh, the Python syntax for you. As I say before now, it's very, very important for you to have uh, a basic to, mm, let's say, a very good knowledge of mathematics uh, for you to be a good application developer. So right now, I'm not going to explain how to install Python. Maybe I'll do that in another video, but for now, I have Python set up in my system. So after Python installation, you have uh, a folder. Here you have, I have Python 2.7. So you have this idle GUI, then you have this uh, Python command line. This is the tool you'll actually be interested in. So. I'll open this Python program, then I'll take you through the the uh, the lines of codes. Maybe you you capture a little how Python uh, syntax works. So let's use idle GUI. Idle GUI. You actually use the GUI to edit Python program. So since I've already written my program, I'll go ahead to open it. I think I have it here. Uh, question one. Let's see. Uh, no, not this. This is a, a different one. Um, it should be question two. Let's see. Good, 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 good. No. This is quadratic equation. After I take you through quadratic equation, but for now, it will be simultaneous equation. I think it should be question four. Good. No, 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 no. It's not. It's five. Okay, there it is. So, what you are seeing now is a Python program to solve uh, two by two simultaneous equations. So let me just go through the lines of codes and explain how it works. I may just have to put this LA codes uh, in the description box so that you can uh, copy it and try to run it on your own. Now, the first part is this uh, uh, information here. I place it, uh, each of the lines here is placed after a hash uh, symbol as you can see a hash symbol indicates a comment or a remark of course you know there's single line comment and multi-line comment so here you have a uh, single line comments there so any line you start with the hash symbol is a single line comment so everything following it the program or the compiler the Python compiler ignores it. So whatever you want to write following the the hash symbol is a comment. Okay, that having been said, the next is, is a, a print statement. I'm actually printing the heading print slash n, that is backslash n means new line. I think this backslash n is uh, the same in other programming languages like uh, uh, C, C Sharp, and uh, Java. I can't remember, but it's quite common in a number of programming languages. So it means in such a new line, then I have this. Uh, the print statement is actually a function. So this is the parenthesis, and this is the closing parenthesis. And then right inside you have a string, a string enclosed in double quotes, as you can see, double quotes. So I write a uh, program to solve two by two simultaneous equation and then print the same print statement, but this time I decide not to use 
uh, the, the, the brackets, I decide just to use it as a statement and it also works perfectly. And here you have slash n slash n slash n for uh, three, uh, three lines, three lines uh, there to be inserted. So you have the single line space and again I have this comment, impute the coefficient of equation one because we have two equations of the form ax or a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and have a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. So as you can see, something like this, okay. So input, input actually uh, gets an input from the keyboard and stores it in a variable. So if you have this statement that says a1 is equal to input, and you have uh, this is a string that is displayed for the user. We can say it's, it is a prompt. So the prompt says enter a1. It is stored, the user input is stored in A1. Of course, when the compiler encounters this input statement here, it halts or it waits for the user to enter a value. So the same thing continues uh, for B1, for C1, then for A2, B2, C2. And so the coefficients of these two uh, equations are entered. Now, comes the mathematics there. We are solving this problem using Kramer's rule. So I'm not going to explain Kramer's rule here, but here you have D for uh, the determinant of the matrix A1, uh, A1, B1, A2, B2. I'm not going to explain. So you have DX, how the DX come about, uh, you can look at the other video. Maybe I'll put a link in the uh, description box to link you to the, the video that explains uh, solving a system of equation using Kramer's rule. So you have the normal uh, arithmetic operators. This is uh, the multiplication, this is subtraction. And here you have the division operator uh, as you as you may know before now so the next thing is display of the result good this is where you need to take your time to understand what is happening this first one is the same print statement we already have now is a different kind of print statement that says print x is equal to now this is a placeholder this uh, uh, brace is here and it takes the value in the format and replaces it. So it says x is equal to whatever value of x here. Yeah. y is equal to whatever the value of y is. Okay, I hope you are following it. Maybe you may just have to take the video back, or maybe pause it and uh, uh, take a closer look. So now the system prints out the value of x and y. This raw input here is actually a way to hold the, the system and wait for the user input. Without raw input, the program after running is simply closes. Okay, so having explained this, let's go out there and run the program. Now, I open the program, the, the 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 program from the directory where I have the program. I'll just right click and say I can say open with. Then I choose a Python day. So there you can see. So I can enter values for a one one. Two, three, be the same one, two, three. Uh, okay, 
the problem there. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, A one, B one, C one, one, two, three. Uh, okay. One. Um, let's see. Um, okay, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's say one, one, two. Two, one, three. Okay, good. So you have the, 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 the program running right there. So I hope this has been informative for you. This is how to, uh, to, to write the program in Python to solve uh, simultaneous equation and the method we've used is Scrum as rule. Of course, there are other methods that can be used. If this has been informative for you, you can like the video, you can share with your friends, and you can subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. I'd like to thank you for viewing. My name remains Tainson Munanyeh.